Hi everyone and welcome to this Focus Friday update which is actually filmed on a Sunday this time so it's actually a Focus Sunday update. Uh, the reason that I didn't make an update last Friday is that I really hurt my back last Wednesday so I couldn't walk for about two days um, so I had to recover a bit from that which is better now so uh, no worries I'm back in uh, decent shape now although it uh, kind of hurt so uh, hopefully that will never happen again and I'll see some phys physical therapy for that but we're not here for that we're here for the video um, this is the first video in about two weeks I skipped the Friday before last Friday um, because there's a lot of stuff to do here at the farm so uh, really didn't have any time to uh, to do any video uh, on top of that I got my eyes lasered uh, which uh, means that I have uh, very clear eyesight now without wearing any glasses so that's a, an upside so very happy about that um, and yeah so here we are on a Sunday and uh, the tank is actually doing pretty well again uh, I have to be honest the, the reason that I didn't do a video two weeks ago was or over a week ago was that the tank was actually getting worse and I was wondering what's happening and um, again as you can see on the bottom there is some cyanoalgia, red slime algae um, it has returned I was wondering what happened so I started measuring my water parameters again and I found out that my phosphates were through the roof again so somehow my tank is not uh, removing enough uh, phosphates um, using the uh, the skimmer and the uh, the macroalgae, the Calerpa taxifolia that I'm using, uh, and the uh, vinegar that I'm dosing. So I thought that would be sufficient measures to reduce uh, uh, nitrates and phosphates, but apparently not, since my phosphates had r has risen again, had risen again to uh, above 0 0.6, and that's kind of worrying. So. Uh, uh, well, as I, sh I have shown you before, I did still have a bottle of uh, lanthanum, which is as actually called, the product is called, let's see if we can focus on this, it will be difficult. Uh, well, the, the product is called Phosphate RX, and it's a um, product by Blue Life, or Blue Vet RX, and it, uh, it's a, uh, a solution that contains lanthanum, uh, which is actually uh, very very good at removing phosphates from your water however it does add, of course increase the lanthanum values in your water and the uh, while well, the experiences with lanthanum have been a bit mixed uh, I see a lot of good responses good results but also some people who said they lost uh, inverts and uh, clams for example um, so there are there is some caution to be uh, to be taken when you're using lanthanum in your reef tank. However, I have been dosing it again for the last well ten days, and my phosphates have halved since then. So it's now back to 0 0.3, uh, which is actually a very decent value that I can live with, and of course still decreasing as I'm adding the lanthanum. Um, so I'm actually happy that the lanthanum is doing its work. Uh, not so happy that I have to add it to uh, to get the tank to uh, to stay in uh, good shape, uh, since obviously I would rather not use it at all. But yeah, there's no uh, at this point. I feel I don't have any choice. I still have to find out what's causing the massive spikes in uh, in phosphates. Um, not quite sure uh, yet what's causing it. Perhaps it's coming from the rocks. Perhaps it's uh, something else. I'll have to find out, dig into it a bit deeper. And uh, if you have any tips of where to start looking, please feel free to share them. Uh, since I'm literally uh, lost uh, at this point, trying to find uh, what might cause this uh, sharp phosphate increase when I stop dosing lanthanum. So feel free to add your comments or suggestions if you uh, if you have some. If you don't, then uh, of course don't bother. Uh, and uh, thanks for listening to my rambling. You might hear a bit of noise in the background or the foreground. That's actually our dog chasing its tail. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's actually still a puppy, 
and uh, it's about five months old uh, but it's uh, constantly around making uh, noises so next time perhaps I'll uh, put it in another room whilst it not tries to eat its own tail but uh, for this video you're uh, stuck with the dog noises so yeah that <laughs> so back to the tank um, as I mentioned dosing lanthanum has actually uh, uh, in decreased the phosphates by about half since uh, since I've started dosing it so that's a very uh, good uh, development uh, I could actually see for example this uh, goniopora had been uh, receding really bad and now it started to recover just a little bit which is of course nice uh, then of course the other goniopora's are uh, doing better as the phosphates are decreasing uh, since every LPS likes a bit of phosphates and nitrates since they can appreciate some uh, some uh, some nutrients but not too much since that will uh, kill them in the end um, so overall, oh, sorry for that. Um, apparently, the gimbal uh, just uh, got uh, just emptied. So what I'll do is I'll take it out of the gimbal. Sorry for the shaking video, and get back to a normal video. I try to move as steady as possible. Um, so the corals are uh, responding well to the lanthanum for now. I think there's only one or two corals which are uh, not doing very well, which is this uh, um, this this euphilia, um, which has uh, lost one of its uh, heads right here, and the other ones are still okay but not fantastic. Uh, other corals are uh, are doing uh, fine, um, so nothing. Uh, nothing much to worry about until now um, actually uh, well I have to say that even some corals are doing better than before so for example this gorgonian these cloth polyps right here uh, this trachyphilia which is actually enjoying itself pretty much down here uh, so it's just a simple green one but nevertheless uh, good to see that it's uh, doing well So on this side, um, oh, there is a little update to share with you. Uh, that's the fact that I have uh, added another gyre to the tank, also uh, to uh, to remove some of the uh, um, well, the red slime algae that was uh, that's, that's gathering up at the bottom of the tank. Uh, it has been doing well on this side of the tank. So as you can see, the sand is overall pretty nicely uh, clean here. Although, however, it did create a bit of a crater here where it just blasted away the, the sand since, of course, it's uh, creating a laminar flow which is going from here straight to this side of the tank uh, and then around the corner that way. Uh, so that's why on this side there is a lot less uh, cyanoalgia than on the other side. Um, but I only have three gyres, so uh, I have, don't have any other to add to the other side. Um, so that has to, uh, in the end, remove itself, um, and uh, just by creating a little bit more stability, I'm uh, certain that the cyanoalgae will uh, eventually uh, perish, and um, because I've seen that in the past as well, and that's uh, that's what I'm counting on to happen. So other than that. The, uh, from this side the corals are doing uh, pretty well. It's for the first time I'm actually seeing growth dips at my Stylophora in a long time. Oh, you could see it better when the image was still a bit dark. Let's see if I can get it a bit darker. Uh, yeah, this way. Um, well, it's hard to see, but uh, for the first time in a long time I've seen my Stylophora get some, uh, some growth. And that's of course a nice uh, um, change after a period of having uh, well a bit of a, uh, a rocky uh, rocky relationship with corals since they are mostly receding or staying the same and of course in a healthy reef tank you want your corals to grow to thrive to uh, be able to frag them in the end and not to see them uh, getting uh, killed or dying for example this stylophora which fortunately 
it's uh, recovering again so half of it has uh, has perished but the other half is uh, slowly recovering so that's what I'm actually really uh, happy about that it stopped receding and started going into the uh, into the right direction uh, same for these uh, two uh, alveopora um, which are also uh, have been doing oh, quite well for about uh, uh, for us since I got them actually so they are doing really well and one last mention that I want to uh, to do is this uh, it's a bit hidden away but it's actually a very nice uh, plate coral um, Echinophilia, if I'm uh, if I'm correct it's just plain red uh, but I'm pretty happy with it since it had been receding for uh, for uh, almost a year and now it finally started showing some growth and recovery uh, so that's a very nice thing to uh, to see happening after such a long period of uh, instability so again I hope that this is uh, the path into the right direction so that the tank is getting healthy again uh, of course you can never be sure uh, but I will keep dosing uh, lanthanum for now uh, I'll let you definitely let you know how, uh, how that goes uh, to share my experiences with it um, for now it seems very positive so I'm actually very glad that I got the product and uh, let's see how it develops uh, thanks for watching um, and uh, I hope to see you again uh, next uh, week in a uh, next video so thanks for watching and bye bye